3. The Hymen, Structure and Variations The Hymen itself displays a wide range of natural variations. It is important to emphasize that there is no single normal appearance. Common types include annular hymen, a ring-shaped rim surrounding the opening. Cribriform hymen contains several small perforations. Microperforate hymen has one or two very small openings. Imperforate hymen has no opening at all and may require minor surgical correction if it prevents menstrual flow. Septate hymen contains a thin band of tissue dividing the opening into two parts. Each of these is considered a natural anatomical variant, not an abnormality. Microscopically, the hymen is composed of non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium, similar to the lining inside the vagina. Beneath this epithelial layer lies the lamina propria, which contains fine elastic fibers, capillaries, and connective tissue. This structure allows the hymen to be stretchable and resilient, accommodating gentle pressure or movement without necessarily tearing. The tissue's elasticity and vascularity also change throughout life depending on hormone levels. 4. Development during fetal growth To understand where this structure comes from, we must look back to embryonic development. Between the 6th and 20th week of gestation, the internal female reproductive organs begin to form. Two ducts, known as the malarian ducts, fuse to create the uterus, cervix, and upper portion of the vagina. The lower vagina forms from a structure called the urogenital sinus, which connects the developing internal organs to the external genital area. During this process, a thin layer called the vaginal plate separates the vaginal canal from the vestibule. As the fetus continues to develop, this plate undergoes a process known as canalization, during which the tissue hollows out to form a continuous passageway. The small fold of tissue that remains at the lower edge becomes the hymen. Thus, the hymen is a normal developmental remnant, not a barrier or indicator of any particular event later in life. 5. Hormonal Changes Across Life Stages The hymen and the tissues around the vaginal opening respond to hormonal changes throughout a person. S. Life Newborn stage. Under the influence of maternal estrogen, the hymen and vaginal tissues are thicker and more prominent. Childhood. After maternal hormones wear off, the tissue becomes thinner and more translucent. Puberty. Rising estrogen levels cause the hymen to become more elastic, well vascularized, and able to stretch without injury. Adulthood. The hymen maintains its elasticity and flexibility. Variations continue to exist naturally among individuals. Post-menopause As estrogen levels decline, the tissue becomes thinner, paler, and less elastic, often accompanied by reduced natural lubrication. These natural changes show that the hymen is a dynamic structure, not a fixed or permanent one. 6. Clinical and Health Considerations during routine pelvic examinations, health care professionals assess this area as part of general genital health. They look for any signs of infection, inflammation, or congenital variations that might affect comfort or function. Nearby glands, such as the Skeen's glands, located near the urethra, are also examined. These glands contribute to moisture and play a role in maintaining the health of the vaginal environment. In some cases, structural differences, such as an imperforate or septate hymen, can cause discomfort or difficulty with menstrual flow. These are easily addressed through minor outpatient procedures that restore normal function. 7. Correcting Common Misunderstandings For centuries, the hymen has been surrounded by cultural myths and misconceptions. In reality, the hymen does not indicate virginity or sexual activity. It can stretch or change due to natural physical activities, including exercise, tampon use, or medical exams. Its shape, size, and elasticity are unique to every individual and can change naturally over time. 
Understanding these facts helps replace social stigma with scientific knowledge and respect for natural anatomical diversity. 8. Summary The hymen and surrounding vestibular area represent a complex and variable part of human anatomy. Formed during fetal development, the hymen is made of elastic, vascular tissue that changes in appearance and texture throughout life due to hormonal and physiological influences. Its main functions include maintaining normal moisture balance and providing a protective mucosal covering. The nearby Bartholin's and Skene's glands further assist in lubrication and overall genital health. By studying these structures scientifically, we gain a deeper appreciation of how the body develops, adapts, and maintains balance throughout the different stages of life. Human anatomy is diverse, dynamic, and remarkable, and understanding it with respect and curiosity is the key to better health education and awareness.